Deoxys Speed is a Pokemon from previous generations that's always allowed play, but always finds itself banned. Due to how oppressive its fast spike sets can be, as well as its life form mix attack sets. It was allowed in Generation 9 OU, and while early on people wanted it banned, it now finds itself falling down to the UU tier. Which is crazy to think about, how this always uber is now underused. So of course today I'll be trying it on a Psychic Terrain team with Expanding Force. Let's see how it does. Yox's speed being UU is absolutely insane. And I've been testing this team on the ladder. Shout out to Lily for the team. She is the UU tier leader. The first game I got on the ladder while testing it and just loading it up for the first time was versus her. Now, Deoxys has felt pretty mid in the three games I've played with it, but we'll see if that ends up changing in this game right here. They do have Tinkaton. They're running the exact type of team as I am. However, my drill is a fantastic lead, getting up rocks, and then hopefully I can not lose to Poltergeist. I, uh, Sinister Jog, excuse me, not Poltergeist. Sinister Masterpiece. Anyway, good lead for me. I'm going to click Earthquake immediately. I, I, I do not. I do not care. That is a giant threat into my team, and I'm getting up hazards. End up going for that. Uh, we're going to make the Ndidi play. If they end up going for Macha Gacha, it's fine if we play the... Uh, it's fine if we play that game versus each other, basically. I think I just Encore them into that. Unfortunately, they miss, which sucks because I want multiple com... Can you hit your attack? Because I want multiple Calm Mines with my Iron Crown in front of this Pokemon, and this is the only way to get it. This is actually sucks that they missed that many times. I guess the Mon that sucks now can get the kill, but that absolutely sucks that, <laughs> that they missed that many times. Anyway, Squabby on my website, Pokemon.com. If you do enjoy this content, make sure you let me know. Leave a like. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I am on my way to half a million subs by the end of the year. We just hit 421,000 subs, so thank you so much. I really wish they hit that because, again, I could have just calm minded up and did my thing with this guy under terrain. Like, it looks stupid good into them. And now, I mean, I'm out in Ndidi. I got four turns, but it's not looking that fantastic here. But yeah, I mean, Expanding Force is free, and I have superpower as well for Drill. So the, the giant threat that I was fearing uh, is gone. And I have my own Poltergeist. They have obviously Sinistra. <laughs> I don't know why I called the other one. Drill's going to take a lot from this. Drill better take a lot from this, rather. Oh, yeah. That's big damage. Let's go ahead and go for it again. So we get rid of Drill. Look, okay, Deox is getting rid of one of the Steel types. They are going to bring out a second Steel type. Do you actually KO me? Do you KO me right now? I actually have no idea if they KO me. And I still have... Maybe if they, if they tear a Steel, they live the hit, but... Yeah, I'm honestly not sure if they even KO me with Acro. I am minus defense nature, so maybe I do die. But Expanding Force will KO them, obviously. Huh. They can't heal and wish a dead Mon. I'm surprised they went Lucha so early. They have their own Ndidi, so it's not like they're pressed for timing when it comes to that Mon. They don't, they don't have to do it this way. Well, they tear a ground and sort. Yo, fam, I'm sorry, but this is... You, got, you gotta... I guess this Deoxys looks good in this game. I guess it looks good in this game, but you couldn't, you could not have thought you lived that. That's expanding force, fam. That is expanding force. It is such a strong move. Anyway, I'm assuming they're, my calc lied to be. Ah, uh, you got a calc before bringing it out. I feel like you brought it out way too quickly. Maybe I'm wrong though. I'm gonna get up a spike in front of this thing and then try and win the game uh, later. But basically it, it don't kill me. So I might as well get as much damage on this so that way Drill wins the game. Smarts. However, I'll be doing way too much damage with this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, they... So I don't get terrain, but at this point I just click Earthquake and win the game. They already tear it as well. So I'd be able to Earthquake with Extra Drill there. So first win, Deoxys actually came in and, and killed everything, which was crazy. Uh, this is the best it's looked in the four games I played. Three of them, again, I went one... No, no, I went two and one. Uh, prior and Lily was my first game freaking goat. It's crazy that I get her on the ladder, but um, Real quick if you guys didn't know I do have my tarot bubble tea flavor available We only have 17% of the stock left of the moon milk. We sold out of the champion bundle appreciate Yeah, we do have an elite bundle though If you still want to get the pokemon card, you still can save 10 bucks and on top of that You can use code aim to save 10% more when this is gone. I don't know if it'll come back uh, in terms of Meteor Burst, I'm hoping that comes back next month, but you want to pick up, try my Moomoo Milk. It is caffeine energy drink, tastes like Tarot Bubble Tea. 
and um, yeah, 18 plus because it's caffeinated. Though it's 100% caffeine from green tea. Let's get another game. Hopefully we get Lily again. I would love to try and run it back and see if this team can win that one. All right, we got a game. A little nasty team right here, but I do like the Oxus in this one. I guess if we're not fighting... Oh. I mean, I might as well just rapid spin, right? They're going to steal my sash, right? Is that how that works? Oh, they don't have the... Uh... Oh, that's more breaker. <laughs> Ignore me. Anyway, get on my rocks here. They go for knockoff. Uh, I, I will be going for Earthquake on this thing. This is like, this is their steal. They have extra drill, obviously. Actually, let me just wrap spin again. Yeah, their spin blocker isn't that great into me. This has to Hurricane or Heat Wave, so I'll go in DD. And then be, with Tinkaton being no leftovers and Stealth Rock and a little bit more offensive, also I have a guaranteed switch into that. And DD is just a, rel a relatively free play. That Hurricane did nothing. Let me get some chip. Beautiful, 52% as well. Awesome, so Ndidi's still alive as well. I don't have to sack it here. Um, drill might actually be Scarf in this. I, I think they just straight up lose the Poltergeist too, but I want to try. This is a Deoxys video, right? I want to try and get Deoxys to do something, but they also just straight up used to my, uh, my, my Tachyon Cutter. Iron Crown looks really good in this game. If it can hit Focus Blast though. Maybe Terra Psychic in Psychic Terrain, Expanding Force KOs extra drill though. That's kind of a, a bet I love to make. I have the replay right here so we can watch it after. Um, it was funny, like just the talking we have, but yeah, I'm assuming drill might want to come out. I will do my best to spin block. So I think I'll go hard. Poltergeist, they end up going on to Garchomp though, uh, which isn't terrible for me. I think if they set up, I'm okay. I mean, I do win the game immediately with this Mon, right? That's all encore. It's fine. It's Deoxys time. It's literally Deoxys time. I'm pretty sure Iron Crown wins. So. And I didn't want them uh, setting up there. Uh, hopefully, Expanding Force KOs its life orb. Uh, I'm also hoping it does a ton to tink a ton. Come on, show me, show me 45%, 45. Hmm. Okay, it's two times though. Hmm. Yeah, this doesn't kill. I'm trying to think if it's worth me getting up a spike and then trying to spin after because spike will help. No, going hard drill is better. Going hard drill is way better on rocks. Yeah, and I can just go for rapid spin. They go out to Petron, I'll be fine. Uh, Rapid Spin in the Rock Tomb will knock out the Zapdos as well. So I'm okay with that. And if they want to... I'm losing... I obviously lose my Psychic Terrain, which sucks in this game. Okay, I'll go Halucha and win the game right now. Or try to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and use... I'm going to take advantage of my Psychic Terrain here. I'm going to take advantage of my Psychic Terrain. I'm going to Terra with Halucha and SD. Perfect. Terra and SD. Terra Electric, SD in front of this thing. Gonna Encore them into that, get a second SD. And unless I get uh, confused by Petra, I should win the game. Like literally, unless they get the poison on me, I'm pretty sure I win the game. Because at this point, this Mon doesn't care. Acro just gets a kill. So plus four, well, Lucha, I, I want to use that turn. I want to use that turn. Petra Run comes out. I'm positive you live this, right? Yeah, always lives. They have to get the poison, and they don't get it, so they should lose the game. Because Zapdos can't touch me, and I just... I can safely acro everything. I can acro Jiro, which I'm pretty sure takes a billion percent. I definitely acro you, which also takes a billion percent. Terra Electric's nice. Resisting Zapdos and also resisting, like... Oh, my God, 57 is crazy. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Ah. Hey, breakthrough, buddy. Thanks. Appreciate you. Let's just break through everything. Oh, you too? Yeah, you too. Hey, break through. Thanks. Appreciate you. And uh, confusion, one turn, two turn, three turn. I don't know if this counts as a third turn of it, but nope, it didn't. Good to know. And they got an agility. Let's go. Oh no, I might just lose. I think I just lost. Well, there goes that win. Because I can't shell, I'll lose this if I shell smash anyway. It's also going to kill me right here. Um, it KOs every month on this team. It definitely KOs Iron Crown as well. Oh, there goes that one. That was a good one. I tried my best. That's all that matters, right? It's for sure faster than me. And it's also faster than Poltergeist after shell smash. Shadow Ball doesn't do anything. So we take a loss right here after a pretty crazy Halucha uh, run. I would say. I'm, I'm giving up because it's over. Like, unless my opponent quite literally switches, I should lose the game. Or the agility again, or do something crazy. They can't. They can Terra, actually, right? They haven't Terra yet. 
I would love if they tear on agility again. I would actually love that. I would, I, that, that would, that would be the best. That would absolutely be the best because then I get the chip for Poltergeist to be able to KO them. And then I got to land a Focus Blast to win, but still good enough for me. Yeah, no way Crown took a plus one Fiery Dance. Not from Special Attack Booster. That means the thing has like, what, 379 Special Attack right now? Plus, and then 1.3 times? Nah, didn't live. All right. Well, good game. I mean, we'll find out, but I'm positive I die. If I take 99, I have good special defense and HP, but I think I take like 100% minimum. Yeah, quite literally. I can try and shell smash here and, and pray that they're the worst version of agility ever. I, like a, an HP invested one, maybe. Or they switch. Yeah, that's an unfortunate loss. It happens though. You hit yourself in confusion. Hit a hurricane, confuse me. But I did dodge the, uh, the poison. So, which is 50%. Oh, this game's a wrap. I'm gonna, uh, I'm obviously already another one. I want damage on the low kicks. I need damage on low kicks in this game. So I'm gonna see if I can get, this can just foul play spam versus me. This mon's, a, uh, this mon kind of walls the entire team. So I'm gonna see how much I, damage I can get in general. I uh, mean, that's great. Uh, foul play, Tachyon Cutter. They have so many good Pokemon into this team. Gonna Encore them that way. They have to go for that again. Yep. And I mean, I get outsped and yeah, that game's a loss. So. Tinkerton's okay if it wants to come out. I, I need as much damage as possible on things, so I'll take it. Uh, am I gonna lose to this? All right, let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do here. I encore them in the rocks, right? I SD up. Because they're definitely going to have Thunder Wave, right? So I'm, I'm going to SD. I definitely KO Mandibuzz at plus two with Acro. So I, we'll, we'll see what we can do here because it's most likely offensive guard chomp on this team. Oh, perfect. Do a billion percent to me, but please don't kill. <laughs> they're going to tear a bug with the swiftness. I mean, that's fair as well. I definitely die to first impression. Oh, wait, I can tear electric in front of them. What am I saying? Yeah, great. I can tear electric in front of low kicks. I will do that. So I can avoid the, uh, the hit. Because this is a good kill. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Ah. <laughs> I, I was pretty positive I lived at 100, though, so. You know, Terra? Surely you're going to tear a steel, right? Acro just sweeps you. You got a Terra Steel. Am I throwing by doing this? Yeah, I am. Am I going to do it anyway, though? Yeah, I am. Literally. Yeah, I am. All right. Let's go. It's time. Tachyon Cutter. Do my damage. Hopefully, uh, I mean, everything's pretty low, right? Weaken this and then Deoxys try and win? I think that's a legitimate end game. I think that's a legitimate end game. Bro, every single time I use Lucha and I try to predict the terror, like why would you not terror steal there? Wait, that's a, huh. That doesn't win them the game. That's not a play that wins them the game. I think they threw. Yeah, I'm locked into Encore for a couple more turns, but I'm forced to sack stuff. Right? Yeah, okay, them going hard Iron Moth is for sure a throw because they they lose to this 1v1. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. And it's going to end now, so I can actually expanding force. Okay, but then I can regular... It doesn't matter if they do that, though. Hmm... I'm just getting my chip guaranteed. All right, well, chip guarantee was not that play, obviously. So. Let's pray. I think we still lose. No. Yes, I'm glad I made it. I'm glad I put Thunderbolt. Let's go. Deoxys saving the day. Oh, yeah, I want to watch this Lily beat down. So, like, again, 
Um, Slowking kind of like walls the entire team. So I was like, right, I'm gonna go for Earthquake, get up rocks. Shadow Ball, luckily she sacks it. Unfortunately, the Mammal Swine ends up being Assault Vest. And um, yeah, Deoxys fails to kill, which would have killed like everything on this team. So Combine in front of that. She has Icy Wind. I know she's Assault Vest, so that's why I do that. Um, lose there. Go out to Lucha. I wasn't sure if she would go hard Skeletor's because if she went hard Skeletor's right here, I thought this was a 50 50 because if they, uh, if she went hard Skeletor's and I acroed and then I acroed again and I just encore them into that, I think I win the game. So, but basically I get walled by Skeletor's and then call my Latios uh, wins. So it was like a 50 50 that turn. Ends up being Terra Steel, of course. Miss Focus Blast, but not as it matters. Even a crit wouldn't have killed Skeletor's. But yeah, that was my, my first game ever using this team. Uh, let's get another game. Happy we were able to win that last one. We'll be right back. Crazy team from the opponent. They do have hazard control, but not very good. I'll lead off with Exegrill, and I'm going to use this to get off an Earthquake on Politoed. And then my Deoxys goes stupid in this game. It does. But they also go stupid with Kingdra in this game, so it's not the uh, the greatest thing in the world for me. They should bring out their Zapdos, but I hope they go Hydrapple instead. Hurricane is going to hurt. I should live one. I, I should be able to live one with DD might be a misplay, but okay, cool. I love doing That's what's important. Because I want to be able to go Deoxys and pick up a KO. Or I need to be able to, I need to go Deoxys, pick up a KO. I don't have any Terras that actually resist stuff, which is a problem here. All right, Deoxys time. Expanding force. If I can KO Politoed in time, I might be able to, maybe I ignore this threat and get up a spike because they should sack Hydrapple, right? So Stealth Rock. It's not enough to kill though. It's not enough. Whatever. I'll, I'll expanding force. I either KO Zapdos here or I two hit KO Hydrapple. 99 is really sad. 99 is very, very sad. We'll go for a spike instead. Let's see if we can get some chip on things. Mmm. Toxapex is not gonna die. I'm gonna get just full paras by that anyway. Rain needs to end here, and I need to pray I don't get full paralyzed. Okay, I, I gotta force the Polyto attack. Perfect. I still die, but at least I force a sack. And I get the Poltergeist chip on this to ho hopefully Halucha win. I think that's my only way to win. Just Tachyon, it's gonna kill, so. R not r why, why reveal I have Expanding Force, right? Maybe they'll go Tox Specs instead of the obvious, very obvious, super obvious Polytoad. I think Terra Water might be better on this, just for like this particular matchup. Terra Psychic is really, really strong, but... I think a little bit greedy. Man, it should kill Hydrapple. My god, dude. Try to save every sack. No. I need to get chip on. I can beat I can beat Pex, I think. I think. I think. Because they're they're forced to sack this mod here. Perfect. Expanding force that. I sack and DD on this. Because I keep this mod alive just because it has a strong hit. They go Kingdra. Always. I sack and DD. Keep you alive for your very strong hit. I go Poltergeist just to get the chip on them. I think. Depends. And DD sack. Oh, it's physical. Well, they got the chip themselves, then let's go. This is actually amazing, yeah, because even if this doesn't kill. Yeah, them being physical actually makes this a lot easier. Because if, if that was to kill me, I just expanding force win. So maybe I actually should have let that kill me now that I think about it. I have Poltergeist plus expanding force, I think, to win. So if they tear with Quackleville to live a hit, we're good. Towards the up. Actually, Acro twice is fine. Same thing. Encore them into that. And then I just acro immediately, just in case they go out to Quackable. And then we, we should have the tools to win, I think. I don't think Toxapex can win. Yeah, because they have to sack Quackable there. They're forced to what? Go for Surf? I Encore them into that, and then I Expanding Force win. And if they... Yeah, I'm good. I just go for Acro. I Acro, then I Encore. That's a win. Encore them into that.
Let's see their Terra. I'm okay with, uh, if it's Terra Dark, it's Terra Dark. Right, but I think it's Fairy. Nice. All right, we got the dub. I didn't expect Kingsher to be physical. I think if it was special, he just click Surf, Surf, Surf. It would've been a lot harder. Encore Lucha though, good as hell. A lot of good Pokemon on this team. I haven't been clicking Spikes with Deoxys as much. But we will be clicking Rocks in this game. They do have a very nice resist in Metagross though. If I can prevent their Rocks too. I feel like Garchomp is very difficult for this team to switch into, but it is HO. I think with Spike Up, I actually smoke them with that Mon. Maybe I actually go Deoxys just to get Spike Up for Metagross. Instead of using it to sweep, I use it as uh, an opening for like Crown. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go Deoxys. I'm gonna get up a Spike, because Spike plus Rock should put it in range of plus two Lucha, and plus two Lucha is possible in this game with Encore. Um, yeah, Spike's Rocks. Yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, I think this is better than anything else. Because if they go Metagross, I can also get Chip on it too. So I can, if I was to get Chip on it, Chip is the same thing, I guess, as getting up a spike. I don't know. All we know is that Garchomp takes 94% from plus two acro. And I'd rather go for acro versus CC. Let's see what happens here. Leave Metagross. Let's see if we can get up Chip. Banded. Okay, cool. Good to know. Actually, it makes it a lot easier that it's offensive. I guess it doesn't have to be banded, it could be AV. AV is annoying, but I think it's banded, which should mean that plus two KOs, and then I have Terra Electric to be resistant to bullet punch, but also be immune to it if I'm in Psyche's Rain. So yeah, we definitely get up a spike here. I don't care if they go torn, it doesn't matter what they do. Just the, we need to be able to kill things with plus two acrobatics, and this opens up that door. Come on, buddy. Okay. All right, like, I, like I, that's not bad. That's just damn. Metagross is heavy. In a good way though. It's like muscle. My bad, Metagross. I wasn't trying to shame you. I mean, you should be proud. Metagross is a f this is just damn goat. That mon's good as hell. That mon's straight up good as hell. It is Shuka. Ooh. I don't care if your bullet punch lies. I'm, I'm spinning forever. Nice. No bullet punch. No BP. No BP. Well, they have no Earthquake. They're definitely BP. <laughs> but if they do, I just go in DD and Encore. I guess I technically could have just Earthquake twice, but I, I value that spike. They don't have Hazard Control because there's no Defog in this gen. Oh. That's a wild Terra, fam. Why'd they do that? It's gonna die. I mean, now I just click Expanding Force. This is your resist, fam. Look at my team. Just look at my team. Look at your team and look at my team. I don't even need the hazards up now. Nah, but I want them. I don't even know what they go out into to beat me. If they bring out Ursa Luna, I just set up. I, like, I, they're going to have to go for Headlong Rush, right? I'm an expanding force. It's going to do a billion percent. Then I go Lucha after. I Encore them into that Headlong Rush. They randomly switch. That'd be sad. But uh, with Spike and everything, we, we should be good. Yeah, it's Ursaluna. The expanding force here for sure. Offensively, they have to go for Headlong Rush if they're Flame Orb, right? If they go for Protect, they just Encore them. I love Encore, man. Encore's such a... It's just so good. And the next time they switch out and come back in, they die to Expanding Force too from... My Tachyon Cutter. Iron Crown. Why am I forgetting names, bro? Just call him Tachyon Cutter. That's a good as hell move, though. Come on. I get them having to go. They literally had to go this too. Oh, it's AV. Hmm. Unfortunate, but we can... Maybe Encore? Encore. Come on. Because I can Shell Smash. Nice. That should... I mean, this should also be game. Because if they stay in, I get a second Shell Smash. They already tear it as well. This game is over. <laughs> this game is actually over. <laughs> they already tear it. Yeah, wait. That's Poltergeist. This is just the win. The power of Encore, man. Sorry, buddy. Store power just straight up smokes you. Isn't terrain. There's not. I mean, just click store power forever. Only Mon that can live at his AV Torn, maybe. Maybe. And then it just knocks me off and gives me a stronger stored power. It's not AV, so it's not living. 
Nice little Poltergeist sweep. Been a minute. I love I love Psycho Terrain teams. I think this team would be really strong Armorous too. You're faster, aren't you? Yeah. But the second they click Body Slam, it would have been the same. This would have been the same thing, but it would have been uh, a Halucha sweep, I think, if they clicked Headlong Rush or Earthquake. That's what I would have gone for anyway, but let's go ahead and get into the game. Deoxys has felt pretty tame. In some games, it's felt good. In other games, it's felt like, eh. I mean, obviously, as a spike setter, it's really good. And, and even with Drill in the metagame, like Sinistra is a very, very, very good spin blocker. Plus, you have Terra to spin block as well. So I think that, I don't think offensively Deoxys is anything crazy in this tier. But I could see, I, I could definitely see an argument for the spike stacking set from, you know, the one that got a ban from every other generation being uh, a reason for this mod to be unhealthy. But we'll see. Let's get into the game. All right, we're fighting Trick Room, which is uh, not the best thing. I'm gonna go for Earthquake here. No Rapid Spin. I don't want them having rocks, basically. Ah, whatever, I'll get them rocks. All right, good, I got the turn right. Let's go. Even if they boom, they have one turn of Trick Room. This is like actually best case scenario. They have no Trick Room terms left. Yeah, this is very, very sad for them. Oh, they're good. They don't get rocks in this game, unfortunately, for them, which is which means that I always keep my Poltergeist in the back. I'm gonna bring out you. Just, <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm just gonna expanding force here always, because they'll take a lot of damage on this mon. Do I win the game if I shell smash? No. I kind of do actually if I shell smash. I can healing wish, I guess. Worst case scenario. Just, just regular stored power here. They went for the one move that could actually cause them to miss. Just funny. Yeah, stored power should kill. Perfect. And then this demon comes out. Diamond storms me. Gotta be an Iron Crown angle, right? It's got to be. I'm gonna Calm Mind on Cresselia. Then hit him with the Tachyon Cutter. I'm gonna Tachyon Cutter again. Yeah, if they Lunar Dance, they're wasting turns. I'll live every hit and I can tear a water. But that's not, it's not a guaranteed win. I think I need a KO. I think I need, Torch Song won't kill. Okay, uh, Torch Song won't kill, which is important, right? I need to go in DD. I need to reset terrain is what I got to do. Back to Iron Crown, maybe? Or do I Healing Wish Iron Crown? I just Spanning Force, let him kill me. This should kill. Yeah, perfect. And I have to tear in front of De uh, Deancey so they can't get up Trick Room. I hope it. I hope this kills. Yeah, nice. Okay, and we should win because Scissor doesn't have enough turns to win. Yep, GG. Because Scissor has no recovery. I'm gonna do a billion percent to this thing. Oh my god, it almost killed. Wait, what is it? Life Orb? Oh, it's Double Edge. What the hell? Normal jump. Good game. All right, that was a fire win. That was a fire one versus Trick Room. Definitely a little bit harder, but like them not getting up rocks was important because we always know Ursula comes out, that mon's gonna get a kill no matter what. I can't stop that mon from getting a kill. So the best way to limit it was to keep my sash on Poltergeist and get it as low as possible while having my own rocks to disrupt them. I do think in like 10 out of 10 games, I'll lose that game more than win it. But I think in the first one, this is how I would try to win the game anyway. But uh, yeah, we'll pause it. We'll get another game. Ooh, we got one. Oh, come on. Dude, one, two, a three, a four, a five. Jeez, man. Hopefully Thunderball on this guy puts in work. Otherwise, it's a little, little bit of a lost cause here. Mana Buzz is very frustrating to deal with. They lead off with Greninja. Water move immediately. I'm going to go in DD. They could U-turn, I guess, too. They pump and miss. I'm okay with that. They go for Dark Pulse. Does not kill me because they miss Pump. 
And I get the Dazzling Gleam off. Very important. Um, they're going to get their Battle Bond form, which I actually struggle with very much. I need to keep this Mon alive. High key, I don't see Poltergeist winning this game. So I'm going to try and keep you alive. They could Hydro versus it. Let's just play. Let's play. Let's play a game of. Let's play a game of throw every mon away versus the Greninja. Let's play that game. That's fine. That won't kill me even with five hits. All right, so we got rid of one of the fifty dark types, right? Nice. They're gonna definitely go Rotom and smoke me. They could go Mana Buzz. I would not mind Mana Buzz coming out. Yeah, Rotom and smoke is crazy. Worth. If I get up rocks. Which I do. I need to weaken Manda Buzz with Deoxys to try and win the game with Expanding Force Crown. I think that's my play. I'm going hard into Deoxys. Like I'm, I'm gonna play as aggro as possible versus this guy. Hmm. See, see, kills. Does not kill, which is unfortunate. Acro Raw into Skeletors, maybe? Acro Raw into Skeletors. Cool, cool, cool. Terra Water Crown can win. Yeah, Terra Water Iron Crown can win for sure. With this guy being weakened? Yes. I Encore them into that. Mmm. I think I just healing wish here. If they roar, yawn, or anything, I lose. So I have to come on. Like, there's so many ways I lose this game, it's not even funny. That's one of the ways I lose this game, by the way. That's another one of the games the ways I lose this game. I need turns. Please. Thank you. I have a healing wish for extra drill to win in the end. That's what I'm going for, right? What I hope happens here is I should have that healing wish, right? This is just... You died, dude. Cool. Terra water just in case I miss, but I'm hoping to hit. Awesome. Give me Manda Buzz, bro. There you go. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. They definitely still could have won, by the way. Uh, the the Skeletors, all they had to do was click Terra <laughs> and live. It lived Expanding Force. They thought they thought Expanding Force killed it, but it definitely did not. Anyway, I'm going to end the live at that. Uh, Deoxys, pretty cool. Um, I don't think it's like necessarily broken. I don't think offensive is broken. Uh, spikes may be oppressive just because spikes were obviously good in a lot of these games, but I have to explore with that Mon a little bit more to make the decision. But if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you let me know, leave a like, sub to the channel, and also feel free to pick up my Moomoo Milk. You support me. There's only 17% of the, uh, the stuff there. And yeah, less, uh, left, excuse me. So see you on the next one. Peace.